you know, you don't want to play drums like anybody. You don't want to play like me. You want to play like yourself. You know, when you think about things or think about playing drums in that way, it helps you de develop and understand who you are as a drummer. You know, firstly, you know, you have to learn the basics. Learn your rudiments, you know, at least understand what they are. You don't have to master them, but at least learn them. I mean, once I understood the basics of rudiments and then I, I apply them to drums, you know, when you take a, like a paradiddle, for example, an inverted paradiddle, you play this. And when you're dealing with music, uh, you, you know, the most important thing for me is how it feels. It's always about how it feels first. You know, I'm not a studied musician. Uh, I, uh, I learned by listening to, you know, like the uh, other pros, uh, you know, like James Brown, things like that, that, that really felt good to me. You know, for instance, like uh, James Brown used to have this thing called a fat back, and it sounded like this. You know, but you know, when you speed it up. Cold sweat. So that felt good to me. So I had to figure, I, mean, I had to sit there and try to figure what the sticking was because I'm not a school musician. It's a pulsing. It was the eighth notes. So then I gradually went into the 30 seconds. Realizing, you know, like everything has a pulse. You know, it's like a, it's like a, it's a heartbeat. And music to me, it's like, you know, when, you, when you're writing music, or when you're dealing with music, music it's like, a, it's, it's just a pulse, like your heartbeat. You play what comes to your mind. I mean, for me, it's, it's, uh, it keeps me to be fresh. You know, because if I, if I sit there and, and try to figure out what I'm going to do, that's boring to me. But if I, if I sit down and if, when I listen to something that inspired me to do what I'm going to do, that's fresh. I love that feeling.